Thomas Velva is remembered for his infectious smile and kind soul. And on Wednesday, prosecutors asked the jury to remember four numbers as opening statements in the murder trial of former NYPD officer Michael Velva got underway. Eight, Thomas's age when he died. Sixteen, the number of hours he spent in the garage leading up to his death. Nineteen, the temperature outside on the day he died. And 76.1, Thomas's internal temperature, 20 degrees lower than normal. How could anybody, any mother or father, leave a child in a, gar a garage at 19 degrees? Despite Velva's original claim that his son had fallen in the driveway back in January of 2020, an autopsy revealed he died of hypothermia after he was forced to spend the night in the family's unheated garage. In court, prosecutors painted what they call a disturbing picture to the jury of eight women and four men, claiming 43-year-old Michael Velva and his then fiance and now co-defendant, 45-year-old Angela Angela Polina subjected Thomas and his older brother, who were both diagnosed with autism, to years of abuse and neglect. Text messages between Velva and Polina that read, quote, I will beat them until they bleed. It is the only thing that works will be entered as evidence. But Velva's defense attorney, Anthony LaPinta, blamed years of abuse in Thomas's death on Polina, the, quote, wicked, cruel stepmother, who allegedly resented the boys and told Velva he was too easy on them. LaPinta said Velva was intimidated intimidated by Polina and went on to say while well, his client often lost his temper, he never wanted Thomas to die. Whether it's pathetically wrong or whether it's an act of desperation, whether it angers you, whether it makes you irate, put that aside, the facts do not make out murder. Now close to 40 witnesses, including first responders and teachers, will take the stand. The trial is expected to last about three weeks. Valva faces 25 years to life in prison if found guilty on the top count. In Riverhead, Long Island, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.